Hey there, today we're going to talk about tracking clicks in GA4. Now, when you look at your reports, if you have your enhanced measurement turned on in GA4, you're probably going to notice that there is an event being logged called click. But important thing to understand here that it's only for outbound clicks. So Google Analytics 4 actually offers you to track by default just the clicks that take traffic away from your website. But what if you wanted to track, let's say, any click that takes uh, people further down the purchase path while staying on your website or any of your subdomains? So for example, if we turn on the debugger here, we should see this page view happening. Okay, here it is. Now, it's on datadrivenew.com, but if I clicked on this button, learn more, debugger will show hey, that another page did load. I'm sorry, Jeff, I'm gonna have to turn you off. We're gonna see that another page loaded, but we will not see the actual event logged for this click. You see, we have a location, it's saying members datadrivenew.com GA4 CYA blueprint, but the actual event that a person clicked was not tracked or for example, if somebody clicked on a get the toolbox at 80% off, again, we are seeing another page being loaded. We might not be able to see it super quickly here. Oh, it is here. Thanks, Google Analytics for debugger. Oh no, this is just for me going back from members page. And then again, here is the G4 toolbox page. Now, it's important here to note that debugger showed two pages, but it uh, very often makes these kind of mistakes. So don't sweat too much about, you know, receiving duplicate events because I checked they do not get logged twice in the reports itself, whereas you can see them happening twice here. It's probably due to me just, you know, playing with this a long time while preparing for this video. So in order to track all the clicks that happen on your website, we're going to use Google Tag Manager and we're going to create a new tag. We're going to call it GA4 All Clicks. It's going to be of type, obviously, GA4 Event. Now you're going to choose your configuration tag from this drop down. I'm going to choose Roll Up now. GA4 All Clicks Event. And just to add some depth to this event, Let's add click text as something that we want to track as well because it's automatically supplied variable here in uh, Google Tag Manager. So we are going to be able to understand what actual text was clicked when somebody went from one page to another. Now, only thing left is to add a trigger. And even though we have all clicks, I'm going to create one just for the demo purposes. So it's going to be of type all elements, all clicks. Let's name it all clicks trigger demo. Save it. And we should be good to go. If we save this G4 event, preview the container. Yeah, let's go to the home page. So home page is loading. Now let's see if we received, I'm gonna turn off the GA4 debug, super useful plugin, but it could confuse our debugger because it's gonna receive two different debug events. So debugger is ready here. And okay, here is the page. Just let me see if that's the debugger that we wanna see location says okay there is gtm debug parameter which means this is sent from google tag manager so right now if i go to that page and then click for example learn more it only covers the one okay. size fits all basics mm -hmm. In our jeff sorry i had to turn you off if we look at the debugger we should see ga4 all clicks happening here okay here it is perfect so this is the 
event that we just created in GTM. And does it have uh, click text? Yeah, it does. It says learn more. Perfect. Right now, let's play a little bit more. So for example, if I said book my spot now, even though it doesn't load another page, you see I just scrolled all the way down to see the pricing. GA4 should log another event. And this event should be GA4 all clicks. Now, you should be patient when working with a debugger because Okay, debugger is not logging any clicks. So let's see in the tag assistant what happened here. Basically, there was this click and it just logged learn more. Now, why didn't track further when we were on? Oh, okay. This tag is not active on this page, so Let's go back to data driven you and uh, track some other button. For example, for example, let's click join G4 mastery course 40% off. Go back to the debugger. Okay, scroll has been logged on our homepage. There is page view. This should be the homepage, right? Yeah, it is. And now, okay, here is again GA4 all clicks and click text was join GA4 mastery course 40% off but in order to access this piece of data in our reports we need to go to the admin panel and then open custom definitions and create a custom definition basically you have two ways you need to either find it in this drop down but since we haven't collected this custom dimension so far we're going to have to hard code it and it's okay to do that as long as you don't make a typo once you save it it's going to start appearing in your reports so on this video we demonstrated how to track all the clicks that happen on our website by using google tag manager there are simply two steps to take. Uh, configure all clicks trigger and then generate a tag that uh, is of type G4 event that actually fires on that trigger. You can add additional parameters. You can play with the built-in variables that already are being tracked with GTM out of the box. But we showed how does that work only with the click text. Thank you for watching.